Tonight, Holy Cross 49, Rumble 28. Ed Gormley, here's Jared Joseph. Holy Cross continues its offensive dominance. The Tigers score 40 points or more for the third time this season and match their season high of 49 points, just like Holy Cross did back in week two against De La Salle. All of this coming, of course, under the tutelage of first year head coach Scott Watney and the man returning to his alma mater is most proud of how his team gets this win against Rummel. These guys deserve this, man. This is a this is a big win for our program. Obviously, Rummel has just dominated this this really district for the last 25 plus years and especially us. I mean, this is our third win since the 1990s against this program. So those guys play hard because the, the the letter R on the side of their helmets and look, they, they kept fighting. But man, I, I couldn't be more proud of our guys. I mean, gosh, dog, we put a great game plan together. We executed it. Um, you know, we earned the right to win. I'll tell you, Cole Canatella had a game tonight. It wasn't really much offensively we couldn't do, uh, but Cole's, I mean, Cole played absolutely phenomenal and he got big plays for us when obviously, you know, he needed, especially on the ground, uh, using his feet. We dominated in the past. The game started off in a pass game. I mean, the first five or six plays were all passes, so we got that under our belt. And then the main thing from there was establishing a run game. And I mean, from there we're popping at four or five yards. So it's an easy game to call, and it's an easy game to, for uh, everybody to be eat, like calm, confident, you know, on offense when you can run the ball, you can pass the ball. And we just had success in every aspect of the offense. And Dad, of course, Holy Cross is now preparing for a matchup with a man right next to you, Coach JT and his Patriots. I'm sure the Tigers and John Curtis will give us great highlights next weekend. Reporting from Tad Gormley Stadium for your Friday night football, guys, back to you. Thank you, Jared. They have it going offensively. Yeah, they do. They're explosive offensively, and, and they've got an experienced quarterback, and that's obvious. You can tell it.